Hey guys, welcome back to Nadir Audio. Today is going to be the first episode in a series where I set up my new music room. And in today's installment, we're going to take a look at putting together a budget-friendly hi-fi stereo rack that's big enough to accommodate all my stuff. So for those of you that have seen some of my earlier videos, you know that I normally keep my stereo equipment on these sort of metal shelves. Uh, which have worked all right so far, and I considered using them. Um, but the one drawback with these is they are a little bit flimsy, so they're just the kind of inexpensive metal shelves you can get like at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, but in order to put equipment on it, you also have to kind of put some laminate uh, so you have a flat surface. It's not just wires going across it. And then when you have heavier equipment, you sort of have to reinforce it. Uh, so you can see here I've got some metal from some other shelves that I've cannibalize to give this one a little bit more rigid structure. Um, but yeah, in general it seems a little flimsy and since we're going to be going into a brand new room I thought I'd want to try something that's a little bit more heavy duty and maybe something that even looks a little bit nicer. Uh, so I had thought a lot about what I might want to do and I'd researched a little bit uh, for you know budget stereo racks that you can just buy and put together. Um, but you know to get enough of them to be able to accommodate all of my stuff, uh, it does start to get expensive, even the inexpensive ones. If you get enough of them for all of your stereo equipment, it can end up being several hundred dollars. And since I have a limited budget and what money I do have I'd prefer to spend on equipment, uh, I started looking for more inexpensive options. And that's when I thought back to something I did uh, way back in college in the uh, late 80s. And that was to put together a stereo rack out of center blocks and boards. Uh, now that's not something that I came up with myself. Um, I think the first time I came across that was in the 1981 French movie Diva. It's one of my favorite movies from the 80s. Uh, but the main character in that movie actually has a stereo rack in his loft with a ton of actually really cool equipment. A Revox reel-to-reel -reel and uh, amplifier and Nakamichi tape deck and a Nagra recorder and a bunch of other cool stuff. Um, but yeah, I, thought, I always thought that looked kind of nice in that loft space in that movie. And so that's something I actually did in college and for a little while after college as an inexpensive solution for stereos and it worked pretty well. So I thought I'd revisit it. So now I did a uh, Google search to, just to see if anybody had some specifications for doing a modern one. And I came across this pretty good uh, post on uh, Vinyl Engine uh, where this guy I think in 2017 had put together the, a rack that's a replacement for a cheap rack that he didn't really like too much and um, so I've kind of just followed his instructions so I'm using the same uh, 16 inch deep sort of heavy duty laminate boards and then some 4x8x16 by by uh, cinder blocks and then some pavers for the base uh, so the only difference is I've removed one shelf from the top of his and then I've made it twice as wide uh, just so I have room to have more stuff and have something that uh, fits into the space a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, head on over to the house and start setting it up. Okay guys, uh, so this is my new music room. So we're doing a little bit of work on this house still. It's going to be another month or two before we move in. Uh, but we have finished upstairs, which is mainly to put in these new laminate floors. Uh, but this room is going to be my new music room. So as you can hear at the moment, it's pretty echoey. Um, but I am going to be putting uh, the carpet back in here. I've got a couch that I'm going to be putting on this wall to the left. And then we're going to build our new stereo rack across this side. Uh, so um, I think once we get all the room treatments in here, we'll talk a little bit about that in a future video. But uh, I think the acoustics will be a lot better. Now the room itself is a, it's slightly larger than what I had before. So I had a, a 10 by 11 room uh, that we've been using for my other videos. Uh, this one is roughly 12 by 12, uh, so it's larger. Now, you know, from an acoustic perspective, it's not great to have a room that has the same uh, width and depth. Uh, but we have a couple of saving graces here. One is that the ceilings are only 8 feet, so it's, it's not a cube. And then those dimensions are just rough. Actually, from where I'm standing in the doorway to that wall is about 3 inches short of 12 feet. And then from that wall over to the closets over here uh, it's about three inches more than 12 feet and then another nice thing is that we have this sort of double closet over here you can see I've got open at the moment 
And I think I'm going to leave this open. I don't need to use the closet in here as an actual closet. So I think we're going to put shelves in there uh, for storing media and uh, equipment that's not in the main rack. Um, and hopefully having those opened up might help a little bit too. Uh, the only other strange thing in this room is there is this little bump out up in the upper corner um, that's used as part of the HVAC system. Uh, don't know how that's going to affect the sound, but we'll do some experimenting and uh, come up with something that uh, works for this room. Um, so yeah, first of all, let's talk a little bit about the new budget stereo hi-fi uh, rack that I'm putting together. Okay, so in order to keep these pavers that we're using as the base of our stand from scratching up the new floors, uh, I am using these uh, heavy-duty felt pads. I put a few of these on the bottom of each one. Now, I don't know if these can hold up to several hundred pounds, which is what this thing's going to weigh, uh, but they at least, while you're moving these things around and getting it lined up, uh, you can shift them and not have to worry about them scratching the floors. Uh, another thing to bear in mind if you're dealing with these cinder blocks or pavers, uh, you definitely want to wear gloves, uh, work gloves when you're handling them. Um, when I picked these up uh, from Lowe's yesterday, uh, I didn't wear gloves and they uh, scuffed up my palms pretty good. So it's uh, just something to bear in mind. Uh, it would be more pleasant if you use gloves to set one of these up. All right, let's go on to the next step. Okay guys, so here's the final stereo rack. Uh, so as you can see, I've uh, cut out a couple areas for vinyl records to go. I haven't moved my records yet, uh, but we'll be able to fit some of them in there, and then we're going to have some shelves in the closet for the rest of the records. Uh, there's also room for cassettes and CDs and other things. Uh, just so you guys can get an idea of what it will look like with equipment on it, I brought over a few things that are not in the regular rotation, but that may be part of this system. Uh, so. One is the TV. We'll talk a little bit about that in future videos. Um, this is never really going to be a home theater setup, um, but it's kind of convenient to have a TV so you can use it to uh, control various devices and uh, have an easier to look at screen. Um, and also nice when you're just, uh, when you are watching a movie where you're primarily interested in the soundtrack. Uh, so I've got my secondary uh, turntable over here. Uh, I brought a, an older VCR. We'll talk a little bit about this in future videos. Um, it's here, uh, yeah, so I can watch old VHS types that I still have, uh, but it's mainly going to be kind of a substitute for a reel-to-reel -reel player uh, for making hi-fi recordings. Uh, we'll talk about that in a future video. And then I've just got an older uh, Sherwood receiver over here. That's not going to be part of this system, uh, but I brought it over because I'm not using it at the moment, and I just wanted to have something to get a sense of what the final product's going to look like. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'm, I'm very happy with it. I think this is going to work out really well. Uh, so we'll be, there'll be a couple of follow-up videos in this series uh, where we'll talk about, uh, obviously we need some room, room treatments in here, we need to get all of our equipment in and set up and do some various other things. So uh, that's it for this one guys, uh, but thanks a lot for watching, I'll see you all in the next video.